We've long reported on the problem of human trafficking in the Bay Area, specifically in the city of Oakland. Now the movie The Broken Rose examines that issue through a story that's based on reality. There's something I need somebody to do. I just can't do it myself. Rose, come with me. I, I can get you out of here. I gotta do what I gotta do. You don't strike me as the type that needs to be saved. The Broken Rose was created and filmed right here in Oakland. And just recently, it won Best Movie and Best Actress at a film festival in Sacramento. For more, we are joined by the co-writers and co-executive producers, William Uschold and Tyrone Dangerfield. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, I feel like the topic of this film has been told in films before, but what makes this different, or how did you approach it differently compared to to other films regarding human trafficking here? Well, this is a very uncomfortable film. It's, we, sometimes you have to meet people where they're at, and there's, everyone's trying to sugarcoat what it is. And it's, especially when you talk about sex trafficking, uh, that is a, a very form, and it's, it's something that we felt that we had to be, make people feel uncomfortable to draw the emotion out. Got it. Mm -hmm. How did you do your research? Um, you know, a lot of the research came from just living in Oakland. Um, we, we've had a lot of friends and family that was in so-called business of sex trafficking. Um, so but, you both grew up in Oakland. Yeah, right? we, we grew up in the environment, so it, it came natural as far as writing it. Um, we want, as far as this movie was concerned, we wanted to have a more emotional aspect to the film. Mm -hmm. um, it's really about um, the interaction between human beings, really, and relationships. So as, this, as the plot, I mean, there's a woman named Rose, right? Yes. She grows up in the foster system? Yes. And take it from there? Yes. Well, she is, uh, the system's failed her. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, it's kind of, a say, good people do bad things and bad people do good things. We're so complex. But she grew up in this system, and there's people who thought that they were doing the good, right thing to help her. But then it really, they, it's a 50-50 shot. Mm -hmm. And so eventually, she got trapped. She got trapped in the, in the system and is trying to, looking for an escape on where she's at. She's very vulnerable. Yeah, because yes. she's just a girl. You, really. you hear this time and time again. A young girl, someone says, hey, sure. you deserve better than this. Yes. I'm going to make life better for you. It sounds great. Tell me how that story turns. Well, you know, she, she comes out of a bad situation thinking she's getting into a better situation by meeting Darnell who's called Shaka on the streets. Um, and, you know, Shaka just plays the mind games and eventually leads her down a dark road. Um, so, you know, it's not always greener. Grass is not always greener on the other side. So do you guys actually connect, or is there a connection between the, the foster system and human trafficking? Well, it, it, yes, there is a connection with that, and there's also a connection with the schools, uh, our, uh, and also our law enforcement, how mm -hmm. everyone tries to help. Uh, but then at the same time, it's, and people look at it as like a decision because it's like it's looked down upon. But she's actually, she's just a girl. She's a girl, never got a chance to really grow up with love. She's looking for love, and then she's trapped in the wrong situation, stuck. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference. There's trying for help, then there is helping. Yes, and there's people, there's right. people are, are helping. They think they're helping. But then the question to me is like, it's a moral question. Like, what is the, what is the answer? Do we have the answers? And we want people to feel that. It's like, what, what can we do more to help? Can we recognize the, the symptoms that are, are there? Mm -hmm. You said your film is uncomfortable, and purposely so. What kind of conversations do you hope we have after seeing it? Great question. Um, just, like, just like Mike said, I mean, there's a lot of films like this, but we attack it differently. We want you to leave the theaters or after you see the film to be upset at something. I mean, we attack certain different. We, we attack different relationships in the in the in the movie in the film, um, and it's going to hit the hearts of everybody. So we want you, we want we want you to be mad after you leave and see this film. So ultimately, this movie is about how we as a community fill in the blank here. Yes. We as yes. a community, what? What would you say? We have to open our eyes, and yes. we have to Just make, open our eyes more. Open our eyes and pay and do more. Pay, yeah. pay attention more. Yeah. And also not judge because. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy situation. Like, we are sitting up there, we look at it, and we say, wow, they made the choice. There is no choice. Sometimes we don't have a choice. These people are in, living in fear. Mm -hmm. So how can we help, and how can we do more, and how, what, what can we do put, to push it out of the streets? What about the impact of two guys from Oakland making this film compared to, say, someone from Hollywood telling the same story? Oh, uh, yes. What would the difference be, you think? You know, <laughs> when, when we wrote this film, right. 
I mean, we Which took a year, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. it took a year. Um, but when we wrote this film, we wrote it with, with the mindset that we didn't want it to be a Hollywood film. We didn't want it to be the rest, like the rest of these films that attack human trafficking. We wanted it to be real. We wanted it to come from our community. We wanted it to come from somebody that actually was living in it. So, and by doing that, what happens? It, it shows. It shows the realness, and uh, I mean, it, it touch, touches the hearts even more. So, it's a more of an impactful. Uh, type of film. It's much more, it's more authentic. It's, mm -hmm. And it's also something where people from Oakland or people from the Bay Area can say, oh, I know that place. Right. Because yeah. a lot of times they film and they're filming in Atlanta and it's supposed to be an Oakland film. So right? you filmed so, everything here? Yes. For the most part. They, yeah. We got Oakland, San Francisco. Right. So that's where we filmed. Uh, and also the, the language and the lingo. It took a long time to cast. You yeah. use hella a lot, probably? Oh, hella. Okay. <laughs> it's hella Oakland. I thought so. Congratulations on all your early success, gentlemen. Thank you so Thank much. You Best so of much. luck to you. The film is The Broken Rose, William Uschold and Tyrone Dangerfield. Thank you so much for joining us. Right, Thank, Thank you for you. the invite. All right.